but I want to do a quick tutorial about what you can do in Canva with your uh, portfolio images and uh, renderings uh, when it comes to easily making them to where they're not shoppable. So what you want to do is you want to hit create design your Instagram post or Facebook post either one and I know it's early for some for uh, some of the West Coasters so I might not get a lot of live people but uh, there you can always watch the replay so once we have our um, Instagram post here instead of choosing a template or anything like that what you want to do is go to your uploads and come over here and scroll down or choose a portfolio image and drag it in and make sure it clicks to the background and you can add additional pages so that way you can uh, download multiple of these and if it doesn't zoom in to the area that you want it to just double click and move it over okay so now that we have our pages that we're going to make videos what we'll do is we'll click and hit animate and it will actually start if you come down here to the photo movement it'll move the image and so that'll allow it to make a video out of your stagnant image so that's one way to do it. I like the uh, photo rise myself. And if you want to do that to all your images that you just uploaded, just hit apply to all pages. And then once you're done, you hit download, MP4, select the page, and hit done. Okay. And another way to do that is to create a some kind of quote or template, any kind of anything, and then animate the text. So how you would do that is come over here to Elements, and I usually add a square. Oops, I accidentally added it. Bring it to the bottom. Okay, and now we want to change this to our brand colors. And right here we have the pro account, so we can easily just change it to our brand colors. Either one. I like that one. And then we'll go to text. And we'll select subheading. Okay, and let me see, I like to put like women empowerment quotes or interior design quotes, interior design women quotes, so we'll look up quotes from women in the industry here. I love this quote. So we'll copy that. Oops. I'm on my Mac and I've got used to my PC now. So it's like I don't ever use the right commands. Okay. So now we'll align this the correct way.
give Kelly her credit for her wonderful quote. Okay. It's a little bit small. Okay, so now you can, this takes a little bit more work, but now you can click on this text and click animate and either do that or do the typewriter. It's a little bit fast. The breathe ones are nice, but it creates this really nice elegant video and you can do that with render ins or render uh, or portfolio images either way and you can also create like a series of photos and so how you would do that is so i'll click this one And I like to sometimes use the same photo, so we'll add another page, add this, and then make sure it's in a uh, different view when you add it, and then add it again, and then bring it all the way to the other side. And then you'll come up here to the first, and then what I would do is do, let's see, yeah. do that one, kind of do a different one for each. And this is a really good way to do one, do a video for reels. Uh, when you're creating one video, multiple slides, and make sure though when you create a video that it, you're using one fo photo for, but making multiple slides out of the one uh, uh, photo, make sure that you change your timing up here to uh, nothing less than three seconds, but less than five seconds. That way you know, it flows together. And if you're using the same template for different videos, don't slip this apply to all pages because that'll change everything. And then you'll be like, ah, what did I do? <laughs> I've done that several times. <laughs> Speaking from experience. So then you would select MP4 video and download the three all at once and it'll come out as one seamless video and that might take a few minutes to download it won't be as fast as the other ones but as you can see we'll play this that'll be one video and this is just an ultra fast way to make multiple videos for your Instagram and that's the next video and then this is the next one so that's a cute little video that you can put for your Instagram and it looks good and nobody can shop off of it. So that's kind of what I'm going to be talking about with the blog post. And um, I hope that is helpful, a really quick tutorial that, you know, I can do this morning while my family's asleep and I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I'll post this in the blog post as well. And of course, y'all can watch the recording to watch the whole thing. Um, I hope y'all have a blessed morning, and I will uh, see y'all later.